mighty fine good morning. So today I'm doing a 30 mile barefoot ultra marathon, as you do. So just shy of three miles in, feet are already battered. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Why am I doing it? This time I'm not raising money or doing it for a cause. I'm only doing it for my own mindset uh, to know that I can. As I've said about doing an, uh, a barefoot marathon and a barefoot ultra marathon for quite a while. So there's never a better time than right now, giving it a go. So we'll see how we get off over the next couple of hours. I think it's probably going to take around seven hours. And uh, yeah, it's going to be brutal, but we move. It's also worth mentioning the other reason I'm doing this, like I said, I don't do this for fun. <laughs> one is to see that I can do it myself. And then the other one is to show people, hopefully, that we're all capable of a lot more than we usually give ourselves credit for initially. So, you know, I never said that, I never even thought until probably two years ago that I could run an ultra marathon. I didn't even know one, what one was. But... Since then, obviously, I've done a good few. And now I'm getting to do one barefoot, if all goes well. So what I'm trying to say is, if I can go and do this, and go through this pain, this struggle, this physical and mental battle, no matter what challenges you've got in life, whether they're physical or mental, or both, you are able to get through them. You've just got to be willing to put the work in, be willing to go through the shit to come out on the other side smelling the roses. Come on, let's go.
Oh, right then, so just hit the 10 mile mark. I'm at Oxwich Bay Hotel. So as you can probably tell, it's very fucking warm. I'm sweating a lot. Uh, lucky enough, I've got some salt tablets, electrolytes and stuff in, uh, in my water pack. And I've got plenty of water as well. So I'm gonna stop off a little bit now before I do a big incline. And uh, won't be long then till I'm turning round. Come on, let's go.